for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. Thank you so much. Now for the introductions of the starters. First from the Hellers, who went to the tournament with an 11-7 regular season record, giving themselves the ninth seed. Number seven, Luke McDonald. Number eight, Seth Jenkins. Number 10, Corey Bannon. Number 20, Dan Sage. Number 21, Zach Frank. Number 23, Jack Howard. Number 24, Andrew Palico. Number 25, Dylan McBride. Number 77, Tyler Zanini. And number 91, Hunter Goodrow. The colors I coached by Nan Norton. And now for your Medfield Warriors, who entered the tournament with an 11-7 regular season record, earning themselves the eighth seed. Yay! Number four, Tommy Schofield. Woo! Number nine, Michael Houghton. Woo! Number 10, Jake Sherman. Yay! Number 16, Jack McCordy. Number 20, Jack Jenski. Number 28, Pat Thompson. Number 30, Peter Barrett. Number 31, Sam Jolene. Number 36, Johnny Schofield. And number 39, Dylan McNally. Warriors are coached by John Ison. Ladies and gentlemen, our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current modern military personnel to stand and be recognized. We thank you so much for your service to our country. We now invite all to stand as we praise America with the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Medfield High School for this playoff matchup between two TVL rivals. It is the 2018 MIAA Boys Lacrosse Central East Division II playoffs, and this evening it's the ninth-seeded Hopkinton Hillers who stand at 11 and 7, taking on the eighth-seeded. Medfield Warriors who also stand at 11 and 7. The winner of this game advances to take on first seeded Wayland on Thursday night. Tom Nappy on the call, Alex Walton on camera to bring you 
Hopkinton Hillers boys lacrosse on HCAM and we are just about ready to start this playoff matchup between these two TVL teams as the Hillers have taken the field in their away dark green jerseys, orange lettering and white numbering. And now the Medfield Warriors will soon take the field in their home white jerseys with light blue numbering and lettering and the light blue helmet. And right now you're getting a glimpse at the starters for the Hopkinton Hillers. Name those starters for you in just a moment. <laughs> Taking a look at the Hopkinton Hillers starters, number seven, Luke McDonald. A sophomore, number eight, Seth Jenkins. A sophomore defenseman, number 10, Corey Bannon. Number 20, Dan Sage. Number 21, Zach Frank. Number 23, Jack Howard. Number 24, Andrew Palaco. Number 25, Dylan McBride. Number 77, Tyler Zanini. And number 91, Hunter Goudreau. The Hillers are led by head coach Dan Norton. And we are set to get underway here in this playoff matchup. Of course, it's one loss elimination, win or go home. And one of these TVL teams will be eliminated after tonight is through. 12 minutes on the clock to start the first quarter. And we are set to go here at Medfield High School. It is a nice night to take in some boys lacrosse. Temperatures in the mid to low 60s. And we are underway as in the center fighting for the ball is Andrew Palaco. And it's a good battle between Andrew Palaco and Dylan McNally as it escapes into Hiller's territory. Now pushed back to Medfield territory, still on the ground as Palaco trying to pick it up, coming up the far side. The attempted pass to McDonald is lost and now Medfield has it. A good scoop up by Derek Gemski, the sophomore. And here comes the Warriors at the far side. It's James Casalito. Casalito working against Zach Frank. Warriors with possession in Hiller's territory. It's Corey Strickler on the left side. Pass over to the right to Justin Cook. Cook trying to rush in, looking for a shot. He'll toss it behind the net to Jake Sherman. And now taking it around is McCordick. Jack McCordick passed back over to Corey Strickler. Strickler lost it, able to pick it up along the near side. And he's contested by Tyler Zanini. Here comes the Hopkinton Hillers with possession. That is number 11, Devin Kelly. Pass back to Zach Frank. Frank trying to rush in, looking for the shot. And there's a goal. Zach Frank nets one for the Hillers, and it's 1-0. A minute and 25 seconds into action, and the Hillers are on the board. Zach Frank, the midfielder, with the first goal of the game. 10.35 left to go in the first quarter. Back to the center circle we go. Andrew Palaco matched up with Dylan McNally. a good face-off to start off this game. And it looks like we're, we're gonna have another good one here. These two should be a lot of fun to watch from the center circle tonight. Medfield has it, working left to right. Coming up the near side there was McNally. Pass over to Thomas Schofield the fourth. And over to the near side to Hopman Jr. who puts it behind the net over to Jake Sherman up the sideline of Casalito. Casalito pass back to Stephen O'Leary. 
Perry back to Cosolito. Now over to the far side of Strickler. A shot there, and Medfield responds. With that goal, it's the junior, Stephen O'Leary. Nine minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the first quarter. That goal comes about 45 seconds after the Hillers put in the first goal of the game. Good response by Medfield. A one-to-one -one game. Well, this match has the makings of a shootout so far. Back to the center circle we go. Good battle once again in the center circle between Polico and McNally. And it's on the ground. Trying to pick it up is Polico. Still on the ground, and it looks like Medfield's going to get to it as McNally surrounds it along with Schofield the fourth. And now the Warriors have it coming up the far side. And that for the Hillers, Corey Bannon. Look for him to have another busy game. Pass up the far side to Brian Abley. Now over to Jacob Grennan. Abley trying to rush in for the shot. Back over to Grennan. And out of the near side to Rideout. Puts it behind the net over to Hopton Jr. Now out in front is Grennan. Pass back over to the far side of Abley. Looking for a shot, there's a goal. Medfield takes a 2-1 lead. Abley with the goal there for Medfield. Junior midfielder striking for the Warriors. That comes with 8.40 left, so minute and 10 seconds after Medfield scored their first goal of the game. to the center circle, Palaco matching up with McNally. A two to one Medfield Warriors lead, some quick moving action to start off this TVL playoff battle and now rushing up is Andrew Cook. Or excuse me, Thomas Schofield, the fourth stolen back by the Hillers. Nice defensive work by Hunter Gaudreau. Ball is on the ground. Will Abbott trying to pick it up? It's pushed away from Abbott. Now towards the near sideline. And it looked like just some stick passing there as McCordick able to pick it up for Medfield. He lost it along the near sideline. And it is picked up by Zanini. The Hillers have it. Coming up field is Will Abbott with possession. Abbott around a couple of Warriors. Kicks it back out over to Devin Kelly. All along the far side in the net of Zach Frank, who will pass it up to Sean Walsh. Walsh with possession, working against Bashone, and he's trying to pass to the middle. Ball is loose, and it is picked up by Samuel Jolene. Here comes the Warriors on a quick rush up the far side. Around a couple of defenders, the shot, and it's a midfield goal. Michael Vachon, the freshman, strikes and makes it 3 to 1. Well, the Warriors on a roll to start off this game here tonight. 7-14 left. A 3 to 1 lead for Medfield. Back to the center circle we go. go. 
Andrew Palaco up against Dylan McNally. Battling for the ball. It's been a battle all night between these two. The Warriors, they are just on a tear to start off this game. They're being aggressive, getting to the net, just taking their shots. Loose ball as the stick knocked out of Palaco's hands, and we'll get a whistle. It is going to be Warriors ball. Coming up is Thomas Schofield IV. Pass over to the near side to Hopman Jr. Now up behind the net to Sherman. Sherman kicks it out to Brian Abley. Now over to Gill. Hiller's trying to steal it away. There's a loose ball knocked down by Zanini. Medfield able to get it back as Jack Rideout takes possession for the Warriors. Pass behind the net over to Jake Sherman. Out of the far side to Gill. And now the attempt to get it over to Abley as it's knocked out. A good hit there by Connor Sullivan. And Sullivan's going to lose it along the near side. Out of bounds it goes. Medfield ball. Here comes the Warriors with a shot, and that was just wide to the right there by Thomas Gill. Medfield still with possession. Pass over to Jack right out along the far side, and now trying to come up the middle is Abley. Up behind the net now, and we'll get a whistle. It'll go Hiller's way. Here comes Hopkinton. Dan Sage with possession pass over towards the middle to McBride. McBride trying to get it into the attacking zone, but the Warriors are able to get it back. Mike Vachon up the far side, working the sideline up against Zach Frank. Over to Costolito, and now coming up is Schofield. Schofield rushes in the shot, and that is another midfield goal. The Warriors go up four to one. Four fifty five left to go in the first. A four one lead for the Warriors. Out the way, the Hillers wanted to start things off here tonight. Andrew Palaco up against Dylan McNally. Battle in the middle once again. Coming away with it is Palaco. Nope. Medfield nearly had it. Hiller is able to get it back. It's loose. Hillers are able to retain possession. On the near side, Andrew Palaco. Palaco trying to work past Andrew Cook. Fires it over to Will Abbott. Abbott pass down to Maffiore. Maffiore fires across to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan rushes in, spins around the defender. Kicks it across to Abbott, loose ball. And out of play it goes, midfield ball. Warriors on a 4-0 run in the last five minutes or so. Hillers need to respond quickly if they want to stay in this game. Midfield is trying to run away with this thing. 
Schofield up the near side. Good work straddling the sideline. Fires it just above the reach of Michael Hoffman. Killers will have it. 340 and counting left to go in the first quarter. Corey Bannon coming out of the net, fires it up the far side towards Goudreau, loose ball picked up. Here comes the Warriors, Jake Sherman fires across, good shot here, and there's another goal. Michael Hopman with a goal for the Warriors. Five to one Medfield. Start to say the least for Hopkinton. Timeout called with 3.24 left to go in the first quarter. We'll take a timeout as well. You're tuned in to Boys Across on HCAM. Continuing on off the timeout. Hiller's timeout. Coach Norton trying to settle his team down. Five to one lead for the Warriors. 3.24 left to go in the first quarter. Andrew Palaco and Dylan McNally in the center circle for the eighth time today. Every time they meet up in the center circle, it's just an absolute battle. Two players very good at the faceoffs. Warriors end up coming away with it. Nicely done by Dylan McNally, who will come up the far side. Below three minutes left to go in the first quarter now. Pass over to Trevor Ruzzo. Warriors sub out a couple. With possession, it's Corey Strickler. Strickler fires across Stephen O'Leary. O'Leary with the shot and another midfield goal. Warriors just on fire today with their shooting. Stephen O'Leary, the junior, making it six to one with 2.35 left to go. on the face off, it will be midfield ball. Warriors gonna rush right up into Hiller's territory and try to fire away a shot. Seems like everything they take, they are just hitting tonight. 222 and counting left to go in the first quarter, a 6-1 lead for the Warriors. Ryan Abley along the far sideline, pass over to Tommy Gill. Gill with a little check there, trying to get by the defender, Zach Frank. Warriors will go up behind the net, loose ball. Connor DePero will pick it up. That was a pass over to Brian Abley. Here goes Abley. Goes back over to Jack. Right out, and now the Hillers have it. Hoping for an opportunity here. Tyler Zanini rushing down, and he lost it. Medfield gets it right back. Jack right out up the far side. Here comes the Warriors. Hoping for another first quarter goal before the 135 and counting is out. Spins around a defender to the shot. No, loose ball, and we get a flag. As Tommy Gill took a dive for it, I believe this is going to go in Hiller's favor. 126 left to go in the first quarter. Well, Medfield, they have been ultra aggressive getting in the attacking zone. And they aren't wasting any time 
take a shot, and it is paying off big time. Midfield will have possession. And the man advantage. One twenty and counting left in the first quarter. You better believe the Warriors looking for another goal here. Out in front, the shot wide to the left by Michael Hopton. Warriors maintain possession. Out in front is Corey Strickler. Pass behind the net over to Jimmy Cozzolito. Out in front, Strickler looking for a shot. We'll give it up back behind the net. And there's another goal by Michael Hoftman, the junior, with 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Blaco picks it up and then falls. We have a flag. Looks like a delayed penalty against Medfield. Blaco with the pass up the sideline of McDonald. Now the penalty will come through. Well, the Hillers, believe it or not, had the first goal of the game. It was Zach Frank. A minute and 25 seconds into it. But then after that, it's been all Medfield. As they responded with seven goals within the next nine minutes and 55 seconds after the Hillers were able to net their first goal. Hillers working in the attacking zone. Abbott pass over to Sullivan. Now back to Abbott. That's the guy they want to get the ball to. Got to get Will Abbott up in there to take a couple shots. That's gonna do it for the first quarter. They won't get any shots off. Good defensive work by the Medfield Warriors to wrap up the first quarter. And after one quarter of play, it's the Medfield Warriors seven, the Hopkinton Hillers one. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. Second quarter, about to get underway here at Medfield High School. Nice night for some playoff lacrosse, but the night not so nice for the Hillers so far as they trail Medfield seven to one. Hopkinton working in the attacking zone as we are underway here in this second. Pass up behind the net. Looking for a shot here and he lost it. Loose ball, but we will have a whistle. It is going to be Hiller's possession. Uh, that was Luke McDonald looking for a shot and got a little push from behind and fell to the ground. Connor Sullivan with possession for the Hillers. Sullivan rushing in. Pass behind the net to Devin Kelly. Now it's back out to Zach Frank. Frank to Abbott. Back to Frank on the far side. Now Abbott gets around the defender looking for a shot here, rushing in. And he lost it. And it was briefly picked back up by Connor Sullivan, but then he loses it. Now a number of players going for it along the near side. Still on the ground. It's being pushed by a number of nets from both teams. Good battle here. And it'll flip out towards Will Abbott. Abbott still trying to pick it up. 
as he was just able to get around Schofield the fourth, and now Hiller is rushing into the attacking zone. Behind the net it goes, and it's picked up by Maffiori. Maffiori coming around the net. Pushed all the way into that far side corner. Pass back to Luke McDonald. Redfield just defending their attacking zone very well. Loose ball, and it's going to be picked up by the goaltender. A nice job by Peter Barrett, the junior goalkeeper. Well, the Warriors, they are just defending their attacking zone extremely well, not even letting the Hillers get a shot off. And Hopkinton's, they're, they're going to certainly have to be more aggressive with shooting. And they might have a shot here. And that is just high by Maffiori. Warriors near that back line, they'll have possession. Here comes Medfield. 9.48 and counting, left to go in the second quarter. Strickler up the far side. And Strickler drew a little push and then we had a timeout call. 9.37 left to go in the second quarter. A 7-1 lead for the Medfield Warriors. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. 9.37 left to go in the second quarter. It remains a 7-1 Medfield lead. The Hillers starting to put a little pressure on and certainly have defended better in the last few minutes, but have a long way to go to get back into this one. James Casalito with the pass over to the near side. The Warriors now working behind the net. With possession, it's Barrett. They'll fire it around. Casalito with possession. Casalito working against Frank. Behind the net he goes, tripped up a little bit, but able to maintain control. Now draws a hit from Frank. We're gonna have a fly. That's Got to be against Frank. Just a number of hits with the net. Now Goudreau getting in there against Casalito. Pretty unbelievable he was able to keep control, though. Because now Hopman Jr. has it. Hopman Jr. around the net. He was trying to sneak it in the side there. Nicely defended by the Hillers. They have certainly tightened up defensively. Is going to be Warriors ball. They will also have the man advantage. Stephen O'Leary with the inbound. Warriors, they're just taking their time. They got a six point lead. There's no reason to rush the shots. Try to burn some of that time off the clock. Casalito looking for a shot. Pass over to the left corner to McCordick. And work around the arc once again and firing it in, Michael Hopman Jr. That's his third goal. The junior has earned the hat trick. An 8-1 lead for Medfield. First goal of the second quarter comes with 8-14 left to go. Well, if this continues, this is going to be a super long night for the Hillers. Hopkinton, I think, needs to step it up defensively and go in there for the steal. Let's see if they go in there for the shot right now. Luke McDonald with possession. Behind the net he goes. Pass over to the far side to Dylan McBride. McBride draws a push and then fires it behind. Rushing in for the shot is Weinstock. 
Now he's going to pass behind the net over to Jack Howard. Hillers have only had three shots on net so far in this game. If you're going to overcome an 8-1 deficit, you're going to need a whole lot more than that. Weinstock over to Abbott. Abbott rushing in, the shot. And that one's wide to the right. Medfield's going to have it. Warriors will take it back into play. Clock will continue on. 7-18 and counting left in the first half. Michonne with possession. Takes it over to the far side. Fires it back over to Schofield the fourth. Redfield now working up the far sideline. Rushing in is Casalito. Casalito still with possession, passes to his left to Stephen O'Leary, and back to Casalito. Spins around the defender, the shot just wide to the right. And I believe Medfield was near the back line, they'll have possession. job by Casalito keeping possession there all kinds of pressures from the Hillers defenders and Casalito able to hold on to it and now Hopkinton will have an opportunity here as it's fired out of play along the far side Hillers finally get a possession approaching six minutes left to go in the first half here comes the Hillers rushing in Zach Frank Spins away from a handful of Warriors. Pass over to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan fires down to Luke McDonald. Around the net he goes. Hillers work up the far side. Now over towards Connor Sullivan. Sullivan looking for a shot here. Fires just high. Hillers will have it. Five and a half left to go in the first half. Luke McDonald with possession. Up behind the net, the shot, and it's just over by Jack Howard. He was trying to loop it in, trying to hook it in. He fired just a little bit too high. And we will get a timeout call. 5.16 left to go in the first half. It's midfield eight. The Hiller is one. You are tuned in. To Hopkinton Hillers Boys Playoff Lacrosse on H Camp. Off the timeout, 516 left to go in the second quarter. You tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Lacrosse on H Camp. Tom Nappy on the call, Alex Walton on camera. Here on this Tuesday night at Medfield High School. And everything so far going Medfield's way. An 8 1 lead for the Warriors. Hillers with possession. In the attacking zone, Maffiore. Pass over but to Luke McDonald. Now out to Abbott looking for the shot. And a good save there by the goaltender, Peter Barrett. He doesn't have to make many saves tonight, but he's made a couple big ones to keep all momentum pointing towards the Warriors. Possession, Samuel Jolene now firing from the corner is McCordick and out of play it goes. Warriors take it back into play. Well, if you're Medfield, you can hold on to it, pass as many times as you want. You have no urgency up by seven. Sherman on the corner, and the Warriors just kind of toying with the Hillers defenders now. Here comes Thomas Gill. Out in front. No one there, a little miscommunication as Ryan Abley was trying to get it behind the net. 
Killers are going to have it. Hopkinton able to get the turnover, but now they have to make something out of it. Coming up field is Pat Murphy. Now Mafiori with the pass up over to, towards Goodrow. Now rushing in Will Abbott. Abbott just surrounded by Warriors, unable to get the shot off. Loose ball picked up by Sullivan. And now he drops it, and a good battle between Sullivan and Gemski will draw a whistle. It is going to be Hiller's ball. Approaching three minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Luke McDonald with possession. Around the net he goes, fires it out. Connor Sullivan spins around the defender, the shot, and it is a, another good save by the goaltender, Peter Barrett. And here comes the Warriors rushing down. They'd love another goal here. A misfire by Trevor Ruzzo in the direction of Jack Rideout. Hillers will have it. Pat Murphy with the inbound. Here comes Hopkinton. Goudreau with possession. Hunter Goudreau maybe trying to get a shot in here. Knocked out of his net. And along the near side, Goudreau trying to keep it in, unable to do so. Nicely done by Sam Jolene, the sophomore. Jolene just knocked that right out of the net of Goudreau. Out of bounds it went, midfield has the turnover. <laughs> Over the near side of Schofield. Leaves it for Abley. Brian Abley just holding onto it while Medfield subs out. They're not afraid to take some time off the clock. Pass over to Jack Rideout. Rideout back to Abley. Over to Tommy Gill. Abley with possession. Now Gill, over to right out. Shot, and a good save there by Bannon, but then a secondary shot, and it's waved off as Jake Sherman did net it, but it will not count. Nicely done in net, though, by Corey Bannon. That was a good save there, and a very much needed save for the Hillers. Zach Frank with the pass down. And now back to Frank on the give and go by Mafiori. Unable to get the shot off though. Hillers, I think, need to be more desperate to get the shot off. And they need to take more attempts on net. That one rejected is Zach Frank trying to sneak it in. Hillers will maintain possession. 140 left to go in the first half. One goal in this entire second quarter. That goal was by Medfield. Hillers have not scored since there was 10.25 left in the first quarter. Out in front, shot, Hillers goal. They have life. Dylan McBride, the junior, sneaks it in. And boy, did they need that goal more than ever. It has been a rough go at it so far for Hopkinton, but they have some signs of life. They score with 122 left in the second quarter. It's an 8-2 Medfield lead. Still a long way to go. Plenty of time to get back into this game. And on a positive note for the Hillers, they have defended very well in this second quarter. They've stepped up the def defense big time. Another good battle in the center circle between Andrew Palaco and Dylan McNally. Loose ball. Palaco trying to pick it up. Here comes the Hillers. Coming down is Devin Kelly. Now he lost it on the ground, it is. And that's hit by a number of players on both teams. And we'll have a whistle. And it will go Hiller's direction. 
Hopkinton might have an opportunity for another shot here before the half is out. Around the net is Jack Howard, fires across to the far side. Will Abbott with possession. A good uh, turnout for the Hillers on this away game, and Will Abbott fires it right in. 35 seconds left to go. And look out, the Hopkinton Hillers starting to work their way back into this game. An 8-3 ball game now. Two straight goals by the Hillers. This game's far from over. Hillers have overcome some big deficits this season. Medfield can't be too relaxed. Or the Hillers will be right back into this thing. McNally and Palaco once again. McNally able to brush it away, trying to pick it up. Contested by a couple Hillers, still on the ground. And it is picked up by Hopkinton. Zanini had it, and it was knocked out of bounds with 15 seconds left. The Warriors are going to have it. But it looks like before we play the last 13 seconds, we're going to have a timeout. It is Medfield 8, Hopkinton 3, 13 seconds left to go in the second quarter. We'll take a timeout on HCAM. Fifteen seconds left in the second quarter. They added two seconds to the clock. Timeout called by the Medfield Warriors to talk things over here on likely the last possession of this quarter. An eight to three lead for Medfield, but the Hillers have shown signs of life. Two straight goals by the Hillers, and the Medfield Warriors haven't scored since 8.14 left in the quarter. That shot a great save by Bannon. That was a rocket, but Corey Bannon able to knock it down, and that'll do it for the first half. This match is far from over. The Medfield Warriors outscored two to one in the second quarter. And at the half, it is Hopkinton three, Medfield eight. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. Welcome back to Medfield High School. We are set for the second half between the Medfield Warriors and the Hopkinton Hillers. It's an eight to three Medfield lead. But a lot of great work by the Hillers towards the end of that second quarter as they were able to net two goals within the last one minute and 22 seconds to get within five. Certainly some great defensive work in that second quarter as well. Tom Nappy on the call for this Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse playoff game. Alex Walton on camera this evening here at Medfield High School and we are underway in this third quarter. Dylan McNally and Palaco facing off in the center circle. And it's knocked up in the air. The Warriors have it. And it's been some good battles between Andrew Palaco and Dylan McNally all night long as coming down the near side is Tom Schofield, the fourth. Pass up behind the net over to McCordick, and we'll get a whistle. Field, gonna make a couple of substitutions. And the Hillers are gonna be a man short. Oh 
Corey Strickler. Possession, pass up behind the net to Casolito. Fired out in front to Hopman. Casolito back to his right. Over to Abley. Looking out in front. Here comes Medfield on the attack. That shot just wide to the right by Hopman. Michael Hopman, the junior, already with three goals tonight. Medfield, however, has not scored since it was 8-14 left in the second quarter. The Hillers have certainly stiffened up defensively and have somewhat climbed back into this game. Still, of course, a long way to go. Shot there and there is a midfield goal. Tommy Gill says, you're not getting back in this game just yet. A nine to three lead for the Warriors. And that is not the way you want to start the third quarter if you're the Hillers. Andrew Paleko and Dylan McNally back to the center circle. Some ominous looking clouds off in the distance. Some thunderstorms in towns nearby, but not expected to hit Medfield tonight, fortunately. Key words, not expected. Of course, you never know. Loose ball, and it is going to briefly be picked up by Pelago. Now it's loose again. And able to get to it is McNally. Out of bounds along the near side it goes. And it's Hopkinton ball. Excuse me, Medfield ball. Tom Schofield with possession. Schofield down the sideline. Pass over to Hopman. Back to Casalito. Casalito fires back to Strickler. Now over to the far side of McCordick. Now Strickler once again to the near side of Hopman. Hopman to Strickler. Let's cross over to O'Leary. I feel they don't need to rush the shot too much here. Up by six, they're comfortable holding on to it, wasting some clock and taking the shot when they feel like it's a good opportunity. Over the far side and fired in from Jack McCordick, the sophomore. 10 to three Medfield. And momentum has swung once again towards the Warriors. 9.36 left to go in the third quarter. Well, if the Hillers don't start stiffening up defensively and creating some shooting opportunities, this is gonna be a long night for Hopkinton. Back to a seven-point deficit for the Hillers. And a false start there on Hopkinton Medfield ball. Here comes the Warriors. Back over to Strickler. Strickler trying to turn it around. It's good footwork there. Shot, goal. They just are making it look easy. Stephen O'Leary with that goal. 11-3 midfield. Nine oh seven left to go. Hiller 
Carter sideline. They're just motionless right now. Tough start to the third quarter. They had some great momentum heading into the half with two goals in the last minute 22. But that has since been forgotten as the Warriors open up the third quarter with three goals. Hopkinton will have possession. Nope, it'll be midfield. Rushing upfield is Schofield. Warriors having their way so far with the Hillers. Jake Sherman around the net. Pass back to McCordick. Turns it around to Abley. Now to Jack Rideout. Rosalito back to ride out. Out in front, winner of this game advances to play first seeded Whalen on Thursday. Whalen 16 and two overall. They didn't have to play in the first round, they had to buy this round. That'll certainly be a tough matchup for whoever advances here tonight. Cordic rushing in. Behind the net he goes to Casalito. Actually, that's Jake Sherman, rather, behind the net. Out in front to Pat Viles. Viles just holding on to it. And now it's Hopman with it. That was a good pick there by Viles to let Hopman run around him. Out in front. Nope. Jack Rido is trying to knock it in. It is Hiller's ball. Well, if you're Hopkinton, you've got to rush these shots and try to score as fast as possible because you are running out of time. We have a delayed penalty. Here comes Zach Frank. Here's a Hiller's goal. Well needed by the Hillers. A quick goal. Zach Frank able to net one. 7-18 left in the third quarter. An 11-4 lead for Medfield. This game's far from over. There's all kinds of time left on the clock. If you can establish yourself defensively and net a few quick goals right back in this thing. Nally and Palaco matching up in the center circle. Dylan McNally has won the majority of the faceoffs tonight. But it's been a, some fun battles in that center circle. Another fun one here. And knocked up in the air. It'll go Hopkinton's way. Seven oh four left to go in the third quarter. An 11-4 lead for Medfield. Can the Hillers get back into this game? And Fiore to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan along the far sideline. Turns it around back to Mafiori. Mafiori working his way upfield. Goes up behind the net to Luke McDonald. McDonald coming around. He was trying to fire across to Sullivan. It got by him. We'll have a whistle as the Warriors have it. One official blows the whistle. The other official said play on as Jake Sherman takes it up for the Warriors. So we're likely going to have a call against Hopkins and maybe a delayed penalty. Med 
midfield maintaining possession. If you're the Warriors, this is the part of the game where you want to start thinking about that clock. You got a seven point lead. Take some time off that clock. Don't rush the shots. And a nice shot there by Hopman, but just a little bit wide. Redfield will maintain possession. Jake Sherman coming out from behind the net. Leaves it out in front to ride out. And there's a goal for the Warriors. Firing it in that time was Jack McCordick. That's his second goal of the night. Midfield says to the Hillers, you think you're getting back into this game? Not so fast. Five minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the third. A 12 to four Medfield lead. Good battle for it. Andrew Palaco, Dylan McNally. Both of them refusing to give in. Dylan comes away with it. Here comes the Warriors. Schofield up the near side. Good spin around Abbott there. Gives it out in front. Now over to McCordick, who's and red hot on his last couple of shots. Less than five minutes left to go in this third quarter. Cordick to Schofield. Schofield rushing in, puts it behind the net over to Sherman. Medfield just gonna pass it around, take the time off the clock. No reason to rush, wait for the open opportunity. Corey Strickler just hanging on to it. What Medfield wants to do here is just force the Hillers to come at him. He's waiting for Abbott. Hey, you want this ball? Come get it. I'm just going to hold on to it and take this time off the clock. Behind the net to Casalito. Down in front to Stephen O'Leary. Turns it around to Strickler. Medfield just continuing to toy with the Hillers' defense. Jake Sherman with some nice moves there, leaves it out in front. All kinds of Hillers out in front of the net. It did come loose on the far side, and we have a whistle. It is going to be Medfield possession. Three twenty-five and counting left in the third quarter. A great possession by Medfield. He's tripped up, so he'll release the shot. Loose on the ground, covered up by Bannon. Smart move by Casalito there. Just let it loose in front of the net and see if one of your guys can get to it. And a nice move by Bannon covering it up. Hillers have it, and they need some urgency here. They go up the far side. An errant pass out of play, I believe that went. We do have a whistle. Hillers will hang on to it. 301 left in the third quarter. A 12-4 lead for the Medfield Warriors. Medfield outscored the Hillers in the first quarter 7-1. Hopkinton outscored Medfield in the second quarter, two to one. 
Will Abbott looking for a shot. And that was off the post. Out of play along the near side. Hiller's ball. Fiore with possession over to Abbott. And the net to McBride. There's a shot wide to the left. Killers maintain possession. Well, Hopkinson's being aggressive with their shooting, and they need to be. Down eight. That shot's fired away over by Frank. Killers with possession. Around the net, shot deflected. Killers maintain possession. 2.05 left to go in the third quarter. Good defensive stand by Medfield. That shot's wide to the left. Killers hang on. Connor Sullivan on that last shot. 156 left in the third. Coming out is Mafiori. To Abbott. Abbott rushing in. So to Sullivan. Here comes Connor Sullivan. Zach Frank. Frank dropped it. Loose ball. Warriors have it. Good pickup by Trevor Ruzzo. That was a nice job there by Tom Schofield, too, not letting Frank get back to it. Approaching a minute left in the third. Warriors would love another goal before the quarter is out. They are likely going to waste this clock down to almost zero. Along the far side, McCordick. To Cazzolito. Spins around a couple of defenders hanging on to it. Lots of pushing there. Cazzolito able to somehow get it away towards Sherman. We do have a whistle. Starting to get a little bit physical along the far side. And it will be Medfield's ball. And the Hillers are going to be a man short, I believe. Looks like Zach Frank might be a little shooken up as well. He is limping off the field. Hillers do have it. Three seconds left in the third quarter. <laughs> Loose ball picked up by the Warriors. We'll like get to that. it with Sherman. And it's loose once again. That's swiped towards the middle. And we'll have a whistle here as a number of guys getting in towards the loose ball. We'll go Hiller's way this time. 10 seconds left to go in the third quarter. They're going to try to get a quick shot off. Save there by Peter Barrett, and that will retire the third quarter. After three quarters of play, it's Medfield 12. The Hillers four to the fourth quarter we go. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Playoff Lacrosse on HCAM. Set for the fourth quarter, a 12 to four lead for the Medfield Warriors. It was seven to one Medfield after the first quarter and then the Hillers outscored Medfield in the second quarter, two to one to make it eight to three at half. But then Medfield puts up a four to one third quarter and it is now 12 to four. The Hillers with a whole lot of work to do if they want any chance of getting back into this game. 
If you're midfield, you hang on to that ball as long as you possibly can. Burn that time off the clock. The Hillers start off with possession. Good face off there by Andrew Palaco. Here he comes down the near side. The Hillers need to be quick to take shots here. They cannot burn too much time. They need as many opportunities as possible. And that's knocked out of the net of Will Abbott. Medfield has it, picked up by Schofield. Here comes the Warriors. They see the open opportunity. And a good save there by Bannon. Medfield able to hang on as McCordick gets to the loose ball. And now a goal. Diving to his right and knocking it in. Jake Sherman, 13-4 Medfield. Eleven twenty-three left to go in the fourth. They just are getting everything to go their way here tonight. Tough break for the Hillers. It's been a terrific season for Hopkinton, and we still have time left in this. You certainly never know. The Hillers have overcome some crazy deficits this year and pulled off some massive upset wins. So you can't give in just yet as the Warriors work up the far side. Pass across right in front of the net. No one there. Easy goal. Jake Sherman makes it a 10-point game. Second straight goal by Sherman. Eleven minutes left to go. 14-4 is the score. Clock's gonna stop, you don't have the mercy rule here in the postseason. If you're Medfield, of course you wanna hang on to it as long as possible, burn the time off the clock, but that shot just too easy to pass up. Absolutely no one in front of the net. Jake Sherman with the wide open shot on Bannon. We'll recap the scoring throughout this game. The Hillers actually had a lead at one point in this game. That was 25 seconds into it. It was Zach Frank netting a goal with 10.35 left. And then Medfield followed up with several goals in the first quarter. As we get a timeout here with 10.50 left to go. Timeout on the field, we'll take one as well. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Across on HCAM. Continuing on in the fourth quarter off the timeout. 10.50 left to go in regulation. Um, before the timeout, I mentioned that the Hillers had the first goal of the game with 10.35 left in the first. Medfield then had several goals in a row in that first quarter. Stephen O'Leary with 9.50 left. Brian Abley with 8.40. Michael Vachon with 7.14. And then another Vachon goal, 4.55. And then Michael Hopman with 3.24. Stephen O'Leary with 235, and then another Medfield goal with 40 seconds left, Michael Hopman. As the Hillers working in the attacking zone. And in the second quarter, the Warriors started off with a goal by Michael Hopman, his hat trick goal. And the Hillers had two of their own by Dylan McBride and also Will Abbott. Shot by Abbott there. That was in for the Hillers goal. That is Will Abbott's second goal of the day. Well, a little momentum for Hopkinton with 10.15 left. Third quarter scoring, it was Tommy Gill for Medfield with 10.49 left. Jack McCordick for Medfield with 9.36 left. Stephen O'Leary for Medfield with 9.07 left. Zach Frank for Hopkinton with 7.18 left. Jack McCordick from Medfield with 5.30 left. 
And so far in this fourth quarter, it's Jake Sherman for Medfield with 11.23 left. Jake Sherman for Medfield with 11 minutes left. And now Will Abbott with 10.15 left. 14-5 Medfield Warriors lead. 10.15 left to go in regulation. Hillers are not going to give in, though. There's still a lot of time left on that clock. Palaco going up against Tom Schofield. Another hard check there by Schofield. That's going to draw a flag. The ball comes out. This is going against Medfield. High check there by Schofield. Face mask. Can't do that. Hillers will have possession and the man advantage. You have to take advantage of this situation. You need a score here. Nine fifty six left to go in regulation. Can Hopkinton take advantage of the midfield penalty? Out in front. And the shot way out of play. Hillers will maintain possession. Donald puts it back in over to Sullivan. Back to McDonald. Now Sullivan. Sullivan puts it just high. Hillers had the back line. Dylan McBride on the entry. Over to McDonald. Now Sullivan. Out in front. And Frank with the attempt on the shot. A good save by the goaltender, Peter Barrett. Barrett. Has it swiped away. And that was a nice job by McDonald. The Hillers have it back. Opportunity here. Will Abbott trying to sneak it through. And that was off of Barrett. Midfield had the back line that time. If you're the Warriors, you just hang on to it here. 9.03 left to go. And it's stolen back by the Hillers. Will Abbott trying to rush up field. He's tripped up. Gets back to his feet. There is flags on the field. Abbott trying to put the shot in, and he will. Hat trick for Will Abbott. And it's an eight-point game. Eight forty-four left. take your foot totally off the gas pedal, Hillers could sneak into this game. Medfield can't just be lazy the rest of this game. They got to keep their foot somewhat on that gas pedal. Nally and Andrew Palaco. Andrew Palaco has won the last couple of face-offs. Can the Hillers pull off a miracle here tonight? There's still time. Palaco and McNally going at it once again. It's been a battle in the center circle all night long. Hillers have it. And we have a whistle. Medfield has it. 
Loose ball along the far side. Hiller's certainly going to put the pressure on. They need turnovers. And we'll have a timeout. 8.16 left to go. It is Medfield 14, the Hillers 6. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Playoff Lacrosse on HCAN. Eight sixteen left in the fourth quarter. Fourteen to six lead for Medfield, but knowing what this Hillers team is capable of, I have a hard time believing this game's over. Hillers have been able to come up with a couple of turnovers on the last couple of possessions. Will Abbott has put a spark into his teammates with a couple of goals. Hiller's first goal of the fourth quarter. Came from Will Abbott with 10.15 left, and another one with 8.44. Here comes Medfield on the attack. And they want to quickly quiet any hope of the Hillers fans. Jack McCordick lost it as it was brushed out. Hillers will have it. Less than eight minutes left to go. Hillers need to work quickly. Loose ball. Pedro trying to keep it in, unable to do so. Medfield will have possession. Jake Sherman coming up for the Warriors. Now if you're Sherman, this is a good time to hang on to it. Wait for the Hillers to come into attack and be aggressive. Force them to draw the turnover. Behind the net he goes over to the far side. Now pretty much just playing keep away. This is what you do when you're up by eight in the fourth quarter. It's only several minutes left. Keep it away. Burning that time off the clock. Now he'll have to put it into play. And Medfield able to hang on to it. We get a flag. And this has got to be against the Warriors. Jack McCordick rushing in the loose ball. Went up against Gaudreau in some good contact. Hillers are going to have possession here with 7.06 left. Substitutions by both sides. Medfield will be a man short. Medfield does have possession. I thought there was uh, some contact as the ball was loose in front of the net by a couple of Warriors players, but apparently not. Some illegal contact, but I guess the official didn't see it. Abley with possession along the near side. Brian Abley rushes in, and there's another midfield goal. Brian Abley strikes again. And it's a 15 to six game. Six twenty one left to go. Well, the Hillers, they don't want to give in. They're going to keep pushing and Trying to get some scores, but you really got to shut down Medfield if you want any chance of getting into this game. And that has just been impossible tonight. Substitutions have been made. Here comes the Hillers. Will Abbott with possession. It's 
Good footwork along the near side. He lost it, picks it back up. He's looking to snipe one in. Left it out for Sullivan. Here comes Connor Sullivan with a shot, and there's a Hiller's goal. Hopkinton, they're not going to give in. They're not going to make it easy. They're going to keep pushing throughout the last few minutes of this game. A 15 to 7 midfield lead. Taking a look at the complete picture in the Central East Division II bracket. The winner of this game, of course, advances to take on Wayland on Thursday, June 7th. And Concord Carlisle up against Broomfield Maynard tonight. Concord Carlisle hosting as the fifth seed. Broomfield Maynard, the 12th seed. Winner of that game will take on Foxborough, who is the fourth seed. And on the other side of the bracket, you had Westwood with the bye round. And they will take on the winner of Groton Dunstable, who's the seventh seed, and Sharon, who is the tenth seed. And then third seeded Walpole will take on the winner of six seeded North Attleboro and 11 seeded Belmont. Hillers have it. 5.45 and counting left to go. You're the Warriors, just put bodies out in front. And boy, letting the Hillers get any easy shots on you. Oh, I you Abbott with possession. Over to Mafiore. Pass down to Howard. Rushing in, the shot, and it's deflected by the goaltender Barrett. Another shot, and that's wide to the right. And a play it goes. Hillers had the back line. Less than five minutes left to go now. The shot in. Jack Howard that time. 15 to 8. Fifty-two left to go. You got to counteract us. Come on. <laughs> counteract us. This ball, Medfield has it. This is the point of the game where you hang on to that ball and you waste some clock. Dylan McNally up the far side. He lost it. And we got a holding call. It's going to be Hiller's ball. Score a quick one. It's only a six point game. Mafiori working upfield. Here comes Mafiore. Mafiore still with possession. We have a delayed penalty. Pass back to Will Abbott. Approaching four minutes left. Abbott lost it. And it's pushed out, but I believe the penalty is going to go in favor of the Hillers. Hopkinton will maintain possession. They are quickly running out of time, down by seven. Less than four minutes left. Connor Sullivan with possession. Out in front to Abbott. Over to Frank, back to Abbott. They need a shoot. And a good save by 
Barrett off the Dylan McBride shot. Barrett pass over the far side. Warriors just playing keep away now. Here comes Medfield on a quick break. Shot goal. Jack Rideout with the goal. Well, it was an open shot opportunity. Can't blame him for taking it. A 16 to eight score. Now Medfield starting to celebrate a little bit on the sideline. They're feeling it. They await or more than likely await a trip to Wayland on Thursday. The Warriors just brought their A game tonight and they were just able to shut down the Hillers. It's not quite over, but Hopkinton has just been unable to stop this potent Medfield offense. Blaco and McNally on a good faceoff once again in the center circle. Blaco knocks it out and keeps possession. Abbott gonna try to snipe one in. Knocked up in the air. Swatted down. That was a nice job by McBride. Less than three minutes left to go. Out in front, a shot. Out of play, Hillers had the back line. Luke McDonald with possession. Trying to sneak it around. Sullivan. That shot wide to the right. Hopkinson with the back line. Zach Frank. And a play goes. Two twenty one left on the clock. Well, got to give credit to head coach Dan Norton and all the players on this Hopkinton Hillers team. Certainly a great season, a lot of fun to watch. And this. Boys across program in Hopkinton has come a long way. They have turned into a consistent playoff contender. And they just had a tough matchup here tonight against a very good Medfield team. Approaching two minutes left to go. That one swatted out. Somebody will have a souvenir. That one's out of the ballpark. Midfield defense holding strong. Abbott lost it. And it's swiped back towards the goalie. Nice cover up by Barrett. Approaching 130 left to go. A 16-8 midfield lead. You know, more than likely just hang on to it. They're gonna play it out. And I guess we'll have a timeout with 121 left to go. More than likely for some substitutions. Get some of the young players in there as this game has been decided. A 16 to eight Medfield lead on HCAM. One minute, 21 seconds left to go in regulation. Off the timeout, a 16 to eight lead for the Medfield Warriors. And you gotta give a tip of the cap to the Medfield Warriors team today. What a game they played. They really just dominated all the way through. 
Head coach John Issa fan, the Medfield Warriors. Great job against a very good Hopkinton Hillers team. And they really never gave the Hillers a chance to get into this game. Warriors now just gonna burn some clock, maybe take a last ditch effort at another goal, but more than likely just hold on to it here. They'll play it out though. These two teams, TBL rivals that play with pride. And they're gonna give the crowd their money's worth. 50 seconds left to go. Warriors maintaining possession, just hanging on to it, playing keep away. Contact in the middle. You know, now we're gonna have a flag. I know you wanna play it out, but I don't think you need the contact this late in the game when it's already been decided. I know the Hillers are disappointed, but don't go out there trying to injure other players. Twenty-five seconds left to go. Warriors just gonna hang on to it. Why would you do anything else? And that'll do it, the Medfield Warriors defeat the Hopkinton Hillers by a final score of 16 to eight. Congratulations to the Hopkinton Hillers on a great season and congratulations to the Medfield Warriors on advancing to take on Wayland as they will move on to the second round of the postseason. But it has been a whole lot of fun keeping you up to date with this Hillers boys lacrosse team all season long, but a big congratulations to the Medfield Warriors a hard-earned win here tonight on their home turf. The Medfield Warriors take down the Hopkinton Hillers by a final score of 16 to eight. For Alex Walton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Across on HCAM. Good night, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon.